Good evening. Ira Epstein of Linden Associates with your Spider ETF wrap up for this Thursday, the 27th of May, 2021. And if you look at it, you know, tomorrow we've got our last day before the Memorial Day holiday. So traders in the Spider ETF, they typically do a lot of evening up, figuring out that they got three days, they can't do anything in the market until Tuesday. That's how the market just works there. In the future, it's a little bit different. So people that are trading the DIA, SPY, and QQQ, the futures will trade Sunday night. They'll trade Monday until about noon. Those are the holiday schedules. And then they reopen uh, on Monday at five at night, and then they go right on through with, with like a normal week. But uh, it does break up the trading pattern. The report tomorrow you have to look for is consumer spending. Then next week we've got jobs data. Today we also saw that the Republicans brought in their plan. They are going to use or try to use in their plan unspent COVID money, as I talk about. I'm surprised that they didn't cross the one billion number. They went to 900, the one trillion number. They went to 928 billion. I don't think that's close enough uh, at all. I think that it would have been a good foot forward to have at least a number over a trillion. Then you're 700 billion apart. You know, it's better than, oh, you're over 700 billion apart. Um, you know, negotiation is negotiation. The art of it, I don't think politicians even understand. Business people do. Good business people really get it. And, you know, there's a way to do things. Okay. So we had, by the way, our webinar today. What fun that was. Uh, they're going to be a regular event. I do not post them on the website. This is something you either attend or you don't get it. It's that simple. I want to run it that way. I could do it the other way. I don't want to. I think I'll do my full webinars when I hold them that way and keep it uh, posted, but not these. These are meant to be brief, 15 to 20 minutes, fast fire, and they are. Uh, I'll make it even faster because having done one now, I know the little glitches that I saw to make everything speed up, and they will. So look for uh, another notice from me. It's going to be a regular event. I'd like to get down eventually as we get away from after next week when we get to normal weeks, two a week. So whether I get 10 people in them or 100 people, we had a lot of people, believe me. I don't care. They come, they go, you have your questions, no more questions, it's over. That simple. All right. When we take a look at ARC, wow how this has come back from the depths of hell at 97 and you're back up from there $15 higher. That's good to see. The market has got a pattern that is bullish. It actually began back here. And when the market crossed this high, you turned into the bullish theme. And now you have an outside day to the upside. You'll know the market's running out of its upside momentum if today's low, and that low is 109.28, is taken out either on Friday or Tuesday. If that's that, then I look for the market to back off even further, back down to the 18-day average of closes. Right now, what's the next resistance point? Well, in terms of moving averages, it will be the 200-day at 114.79. When I put the Bollinger Band together with it, 114.49 is that number. It's probably going to drop a little bit even tomorrow. And the reason for that is each day the number seems to be going down. Here you were sitting in it at 115.71. You fell today uh, down a full dollar twenty. I don't think it'll drop that much, but I think it's going to be right by where the prices are right now. And that and the 200 day are stiff resistance, so expect it to be right there. In terms of overbought, you've got it. So I have an overbought market, this is the way I'm analyzing it, in an uptrend, bias up, and it has spent a lot of effort to get back up here. Should have big troubles, I think, right at that combination. I could be totally wrong. GameStop, away you go, Reddit. I'm with my banker today. I, this afternoon I had to go do some banking and I, I, we met one-on-one. -on -one. First thing out of his mouth, what do you think of AMC and GameStop? I go, you're a Reddit freak. He goes, well, yeah, I watch it. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. First thing out of his mouth. I won't tell you what I told him, but I remember what I said. This acts like a base for a, a move that's got legs to it in this one. 
I think AMC was up six bucks today. Uh, PAVE, you're fighting your battle because you're getting proposals, but there's no trend. You're going sideways in a sideways action Bollinger Band against the 18-day average. I don't see a darn thing that's there. In Apple, I've been looking, as you know, that if the market kept going between the 18 and the uh, 100 day average in green for resistance to show up just like we're talking here on arc and you got it now you've gone back into a downtrend you have lower highs lower lows if the market can follow through 124.06 the 200 day average is the target could go to the Bollinger Band but those are the targets I'm wrong and the market's given you a, a flip-flop a, a, a trap if you take out today's high on either Friday or Tuesday then I think you're going back to the 100 day average so interesting time in Apple the uh, microchips the semiconductor boys well here you come you're coming right on up to the 18 day average I'm sorry to the upper Bollinger Band the trend is up I expect resistance, stiff resistance, between 179.91 and 182.14, the 100-day average. You are overbought. You've, again, spent a lot of energy getting up here. I'd be a bit cautious. And it's Friday. You might get some profit-taking. As we spoke, I think I've said it each day, first goal was the 18-day average possibility. Now, if you keep going, you get to the Bollinger Band, but you're very overbought in this. Unless there's some piece of fundamental news that's going to come out, Technically speaking, you're going to start gasping for air on this rally. Uh, ESGU, overbought, in an uptrend, caught in the sideways psychiatry trade, as I love to call it. I'm looking for a failure on the rally at 96.90. Uh, that would be where I think the pros are coming out. And if you get under 95.62, it could be problems that the market just says, okay, I want to just spend a bit more time drifting. In the energy sector, we're all waiting to hear what's going on with Iran, Europe, the United States in terms of are sanctions going to be lifted or not. We know the Iranian elections are coming and they're putting up such a group of hardcore. It's worse than you have now. And, you know, Romani's not as bad as you think with what they've got coming at you. The head of the judiciary is being groomed because the Ayatollah is 82 years old and they're doing some grooming. Who's going to take his place when it's all done? So if that person gets it, it's going to be worse. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you on it. The battleground's right here, but I think everybody's enamored with uh, those elections and what are we going to do? How much is President Biden? And that's what this is all about. It's not about Europe. It's about us, the United States. What is President Biden going to give away this time? I'm facetious. I'm nasty towards him. I think he did the, such a wrong thing with he and President Obama last time. I don't want to see him make the same. And it was a mistake. It funded a lot of terrorism. I'm anti-terrorism, not anti-Iran. Um, GDX. Now I'm watching what the market is doing here. You're getting instantly, you lost the embedded reading. Now you didn't get under the 79 where you have to completely get out, but it's a major warning signal some traders would have. That's a warning. I, I'm not liking what I'm seeing on that. Can it rescue itself? Absolutely. It has to recover, let's say in the first hour of trading, that's typically what happens and it gets back into the 80s, then it's a recovery. So. Some traders who are probably on the sidelines, tomorrow's going to be very important to them uh, if they're still in that. TLT, higher lows, higher highs. Will you get up there? I don't know. You've used, again, this is what I'm saying when you use a lot of power making a run to those numbers. It's not a total sideways action number. We'll see. I think that what will set this market off one way or the other is the consumer report tomorrow. We'll see what the consumer is doing. Are they holding on to cash, not spending? Uh, what are they doing? That's going to be important. FXE, higher lows, higher high, but you have a market that did we ever embed. Now, stay with me here. The market's got the numbers over 80. Not there. Day one, two, three. Three, right? Still over 80. You lose it at 79.46 and the second day. So you've lost the embedded reading and that often leads to price in the 18 day average making a run, which bodes well that the dollar index in theory could be making a move to the upside. We'll see if it all plays out or not. 
And when you put it together, you know, this is what you've got and what you have to deal with. Now, each morning at approximately 840, I begin recording 41 charts. Why? The idea there is you have a trade idea. You're thinking, if I want to go into this spider, I want to go into this ETF, what do I do? What's I were thinking maybe? I need to have somebody to talk to that's a chartist. I want to be that guy. On Saturdays, I do them on a weekly basis. But here's the thought process. You go in and I break everything down by segments. So you're going to see all the different ones. These are some of the spiders that I cover. There's over 40 of them. It's all the main areas. You can pause this and go back. You'll see what they are. $8.95 for the first 30 days. After that, $16. And if you buy a one-year subscription, you pay in advance, it's cheaper. It's probably towards $13 or so a month. It isn't going to break the bank. It isn't for free. I'm not a free guy. No. That's why when I do the webinar like I did today, there's no recording of it. You can't break away. I don't want to make it available to you. It's a two-way street. What do you think pays for all this to go? Do we add subscribers? Yes. Do I get people that like it? Yes. Do I get people that quit? Of course you do. Do most of them write me a nasty letter? No, it is far, far, far in between. Most, oh, I've changed my position. I'm doing something different. They come back. Give yourself a shot. Yourself. $8.95 for the first 30 days. I'm Ira. I'll see you over the weekend. Take care.